Understanding the phrase, hushed ah. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the beautiful intricacies of the English language. Today, we've got a fascinating phrase to explore, hushed ah. It's a phrase that paints a picture, tells a story, and conveys a deep emotion, all in just two words. So, if you're ready, let's unravel the meaning behind this expressive phrase and learn how to use it in our daily conversations. To truly understand, hushed ah, we need to look at each word separately and then see how they come together. The word, hushed, refers to a silence, but it's not just any silence. It's a silence filled with anticipation, respect, or sometimes fear. It's the kind of quiet you experience when you're so engrossed in something that you forget to make a sound. On the other hand, ah, is a feeling of reverential respect mixed with fear or wonder. It's that sense of being overwhelmed by the magnitude, beauty, or power of something, whether it's a breathtaking view, an act of incredible skill, or a moving piece of music. When we combine these words, hushed awe ah, describes a moment of silent wonder, a feeling of admiration so strong that it quiets the room, and you're left speechless by the experience. Now, let's see how hushed awe ah, can be used in everyday language. Imagine walking into an ancient cathedral, and as you look up at the magnificent ceiling, you are in hushed awe of the artistry. Or picture yourself at a concert, and when the singer hits an incredibly high note, the audience is suddenly in hushed awe. Here are a few sentence examples. When the curtains were drawn back, revealing the mural for the first time, the room fell into hushed awe. The audience listened in hushed awe as the scientists described the vastness of the universe. As the baby slept, the parents gazed at their newborn with hushed awe, marveling at the miracle of life. The context in which hushed awe is used can greatly affect its meaning. For example, hushed awe in a natural disaster would convey a sense of shock and fear, whereas in an art gallery, it would communicate admiration and respect. It's essential to pay attention to the situation to understand the full nuance of this phrase. To incorporate hushed ah into your language practice, try to think of moments in your life that left you speechless with wonder or reverence. Describe those moments in English using hushed ah to express your feelings. You can also listen for this phrase in movies, shows, or read it in books to see how native speakers use it in different contexts. I hope this exploration of hushed ah has left you with a sense of enrichment and curiosity about the evocative power of language. Remember, English is not just a tool for communication. It's a way to paint pictures, tell stories, and share emotions. Keep practicing, keep learning, and perhaps one day, you'll leave someone else in hushed awe with your mastery of the English language. Until our next lesson, keep up the great work, and thanks for watching.